Welcome to vertical and horizontal preparation. In this second lecture, we will focus the attention on a second group of paradigms that help us in the selection between vertical and horizontal preparation. We will talk, indeed, about the patient. Very interesting to look at this case from the occlusal point of view, because if we look at this case from the occlusal point of view, we can definitely see that the, uh, uh, the tooth was buccally positioned to begin with. That's why most probably the phenotype and the biotype of this tooth was extremely uh, thin. And there was a good, uh, a good, a bad discoloration of the root because of the transparency through the thin tissue. What we did, we basically, we thickened the tissue, how changing the position of the tooth, bringing it more palatally, just preparing a little bit more aggressively in this area, creating space for the coagulum to heal, and then putting on the top of it our provisional restoration. You can see here the healing when we were taking the impression, and here the healing when we were basically cementing the restoration with the good and thicker tissue with a good emergence profile that was guided by the emergence profile of the provisional restoration. This is continuous subgingival. So a triangular crown normally is also associated with a triangular root. A more square crown is associated with a more square root. So basically, when I prepare a tooth that has a thin tissue, normally I check in the x-ray and I find out that the root is more triangular. So we might have a much better benefit with the subgingival, subgingival vertical preparation in a thin biotype because they have a triangular root shape.